It's a phrase they say at least once a week, and that is, can you believe it? The Kennedy half dollar has been out there for 60 years. And over that span, we've seen a lot of fun stuff. To the point where back in 2001, we stopped making them for circulation. So for the last 20 years, they've only been made for collectors. But with that said, they still make 1.5 to 1.7 million P's and D's respectively, which means there's a lot of us collectors loving that coin. Well, for the 50th anniversary in 2014, we did something special. You very rarely see this four coin silver set. And tonight, the first time in a long time, we get to chat. So again, the 50th anniversary, the U.S. Mint decides to make a special silver Kennedy set. But the whole concept on this one, unique to the coin and unique to the mint. So we're bringing back silver Kennedy. So these are all .900 fine U.S. coin silver Kennedy half dollars. All four of them. But you notice by looking at this photo, all of them have a different look and a different feel. Every mint that was striking coins made a Kennedy. And every one of them is different. So here is where we go. Right there you were looking at the Philadelphia, which made the original 1964 proof Kennedy, the first year of issue. So they made the proof coin in this four coin set. Denver made the burnished or satin finish. Then two brand new Kennedys in this set. The reverse proof. The reverse proof was put together by the West Point Mint. And then San Francisco struck the first ever enhanced uncirculated silver. Silver being the key here. So every mint a unique and special. Now the two that are first time Kennedy evers are the West Point reverse proof and the San Francisco enhanced uncirculated. All of them silver. So look at the price. $149.95. Divide that by four. And that's the cost per coin, basically. Wow, huh? Outright, wow. So the reverse proof, first time ever. Enhanced, uncirculated, first time ever. Now in 2017, they did make an enhanced set. Remember for our 225th anniversary? So there's a Kennedy in that set, but it's copper clad. This is the only enhanced silver. Now the other part of this is how few of these they made. They made only 219,173. And many of you might remember this. It's only been a decade or so ago. Sometimes we want to forget the unpleasant experiences. But the government made a number of the sets and then sold them. And they sold them out, obviously, right? And then they paused, telling us they're going to go back to production and make some more. And they did. And that was all foobard, so to speak. And then at the end, they released a few more, which is why we crawled up to 219,000. So the end result is 219,000. If you look at the Kennedy half dollar dating back to 1964, there's only one Kennedy half dollar that's rarer, lower mintage than this set. Do you know which one it is? Yeah, that's the 1998 Kennedy Brothers two-piece set had a matte finish silver Kennedy in it. And there's only 62,000 of them. So that is, that is coin number one when it breaks down at that particular scenario. But then you look at these. At 219,000, number two to number five are tied. Every one of them only available this way. Now remember, the regular proof set, the silver proof set from 2014 had a San Francisco regular silver proof. These are the special Kennedys only made in this set, which is why the mintages are so tiny and why they rank in the rarity field so well. So with all that said, here's the question. I'm a numbers geek, uh, and, and they, they confuse me if I don't study enough. And then every once in a while I bump in the coins or I bump in the sets, and the value based upon everything else around it in the market does not make logical sense. So you might remember in 2012, right? The U.S. makes a silver proof set like it's been doing since 1992 in the San Francisco Mint, right? 
And it was the first year we were under 400,000 silver proof sets. 396,000 to be exact. Today, that 2012 silver Kennedy, only in the proof set, sells for $185. And there's almost 400,000 of them. Can anybody explain to me how this four coin set with every one of them that's rarer, all of them unique, two of them first time ever types of finish on a Kennedy half dollar in their entire 50 year life at this point, right? And the coins per coin, you get all four of them for $149.95 with us here. Yeah. Now, anybody notice the design? The U.S. Mint brought back something that surprised me. And they don't surprise a lot, but they surprised me on this one. Remember the original design on the Kennedy Half Dollar in 1964? And the brouhaha that came from it? Remember the accented hair? And then Jackie, the first lady, saying, uh, I don't want, his hair is too busy. I want it tamed down above the ear, etc. And the U.S. Mint acknowledged it and fixed it before they started striking coins for circulation. But because they made a die that way, they were making proof coins, proof sets, so a small number of coins made it to the marketplace. They're called accented hairs. Every one of these coins, all four of the 50th anniversary coins, have accented hair. More on recognition and tie to the original design of the Kennedy Half Dollar. So these are designed to the exact specs of that first Kennedy made 50 years earlier. Again, this set, however, unique because the four coins all relate to the four mints and the four mints relate to different finishes. Guys, I got to put a one minute clock up. We're getting down to our last 10, 12 sets. Lots of activity on the phones. If you have this one in your shopping cart and you're visiting us via avccoins.com and thank you for that. I recommend strongly you push this through, lock it down, this price, these great coins, they're not going to last too much longer. But again, Philadelphia made the proof, dating back to the original proof in 1964. Denver made a coin in 1964, uncirculated, so the mint made that one a matte finish or a satin finish. Two brand new design type finishes. West Point made a reverse proof Kennedy. First time ever. And then San Francisco makes that beautiful enhanced. So this set is anchored by two coins never seen before in the Kennedy Half Dollar series. All four are 90% silver. All four of them come out of a 219,000 mintage, making them number two to number five. Out of all 60 years, we now see the Kennedy Half Dollar. This set special. It's presented beautifully. And tonight at this price, yeah. It's a buy.